Hey everybody, it's Scott again. Hope everyone's having a really good Sunday. Let's kick a prayer. Lord Jesus, we come to you in prayer. We believe in you. We believe in Father's prophecies. We believe in the end time prophecies. And we also want to confess our sins. And Jesus, with the most sincerity that we have, we want to just confess our belief that you are coming soon with the Father's kingdom and Father's judgment. In your name, always, we pray. Amen. All right, everybody. I wanted to do a quick little video this morning on uh, storage bin slash storage containers. And most of you uh, hardcore preppers out there have already got this covered. Um, but for the newer preppers, um, as you can tell in the picture here, uh, when you get into prepping, man, it doesn't take long before you start to look at your inventory and go, OMG, Bucky, I got a ton of stuff. And the reason why I... I'm kind of big on storage bin and containers, as you can tell in the picture, you'll end up with a lot of little items. And those will just basically chew up valuable shelf space for like canned goods and big bulk items. And this particular, I don't have another picture of the actual box, but this particular box here is actual a Rubbermaid foot locker. It's about three foot long, about two and a half. Uh, feet wide and about I'd say a foot and three quarters deep and as you can tell you can cram a lot of stuff in there And what I like about this particular box is it's a go box So instead of like cardboard boxes and and regular like Rubbermaid storage uh, Big bulk storage, which I've got those this is cool because this could be also doubled as a bug out box and this particular model uh, it's got uh, rollers or caster wheels on one side, so if you pack it heavy, you don't have to carry it. You can actually just roll it. And surprisingly enough, this this box over at Walmart, at least in my area, you can get these for like $19.99. So if you got $60 uh, uh, to spare, go buy three of these, and you'll be amazed at how much uh, real estate you can save by uh, taking all your smaller scat items. And this, this particular box is the toilet, what I call the toiletry box. It's got all the underarm deodorants, the shampoos. Uh, it's got medical supplies in it, razors, um, just a whole toiletries. Let's just leave it at that. And so there, that's my two cents on having uh, manageable small item storage. And with all that being said, as always, people, just right now is a critical time to look at your life and think, am I close to the Lord? Am I doing anything uh, towards my salvation? Um, am I looking out for my family? Am I thinking in terms of of not being selfish? Um, and so am I stockpiling? You know, 2015 and 2016, especially going into 2016, my deep spiritual belief is we are going to see a harsh economic collapse in this country. It's inevitable. They, the, the system, our system simply cannot keep printing and spewing out money, what's called that fiat currency. Um, if we learned anything from the mid-90s, everyone remembers Enron out of Texas. Um, if we learned anything from Enron, it's that you can only um, cook the books for so long and, and show losses and false profits for so long till the point where it, it's, it has to collapse. And that's what I honestly think is going to happen with this country. And so it's very critical and important to take a look at the possible prophetic um, scenarios that it's not a matter of if these are going to happen. It's only a matter of when. And um, so you want to take a look at, um, am I prepared? Can I take care of my family? Um, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. Uh, could we, could me and or, you know, my family survive, you know, six months with a massive disruption in consumer goods? And, you know, the other thing I also uh, tell new preppers that I coach is it doesn't hurt to always have a good, you know, 30, 60, maybe 90 days of, of all of your items stockpiled in the event you get laid off or get fired from your job or laid off. And, you know, because anybody that lands on unemployment, unemployment, if you're lucky, will pay you about 48% of your standard wages you were making. And so items like this can also get you through a layoff period and your own personal financial tough times. So it just depends on how you want to run your life, uh, how you want to um, run your finances. And I always tell people, you know, shave off 
five to 10% of each paycheck. It's not a whole lot of money. And every time you're out shopping, nickel and dime. Uh, it's impossible to go out and buy everything in one month. That's why it's called a preference program. And then also then it becomes a way of life. And then at nighttime, when you're laying in bed and you're thinking about all the prophecies and the tough times that are coming, you can have a little assurance that you're working on your own preparedness. Okay, so with all that being said, get close to the Lord. Right now is the absolute most critical time to get close to our Savior Jesus. It's imperative. You know, give the Lord a little bit of your time each day. You know, unplug for the matrix. You know, lay off the video games uh, a little bit during the week. Shut the television off. You know, get off of whatever you waste or spend the bulk of your time. And give the Lord a little bit of your time. Scripture study. Look at these, uh, all these web links in the description box below for, you know, Christian ministries, preppers, websites. Take some time to get yourself educated. Be prepared. Because when it snaps, it's going to snap and unravel so fast and so furious. So many people are not going to be prepared. And you've heard some other truther, Christian truther preppers out here will say the same thing. Do you really want to get caught up in a Walmart that's being completely destroyed by panicked people? Or even worse, getting your brains bashed in in the parking lot on the way out trying to get home with the last handful of cans of tuna and some water to feed your children. You know, preparedness, preparedness, preparedness. Make it a way, make it a lifestyle. And you'll you'll start to feel good about yourself in the respects that, hey, you know, if something happens, I can take care of my family. All right. All right, everybody, I got to clear out of here. And I got to go do my God time now. You know, it's Sunday, so I'm going to listen to some ministries, do some scripture study, and uh, do what I can to not add more to my plate for Judgment Day. All right, as always, be safe, stay alert, but most importantly, be prepared. I'm out. Ciao.